Okay, Kevin, what are you doing? Well, I'm um, trying to make a rectangle out of a not rectangle. <laughs> I got a question the other day. Guy, wanted, the guy said uh, he's trying to cut, you know, make a cut on something and it's not coming out right. He's always a little too short, he's always a little too long. And you know, they try to cut it just a little oversized and then go in there and grind it and try to make it exactly fit perfect. And you always wind up with little divots, you wind up with little mistakes. What am I doing wrong? So not really knowing exactly what you're up to there <laughs> or how you're making your marks or, or what kind of cutting tools you're using. I thought, well, let's go over a couple of basics. Like, if you're gonna make a mark on a piece of steel, well, which one do you use? Something that I've noticed over the years, especially from even before I started playing with metal, when I was playing with wood, was, yeah, I'd do the same thing. I'd make my mark, you know, I'd grab a pencil, I'd make my mark, I'd make my cut, too short, too long, mm, stretch it, you know, shrink it, whatever you gotta do. And then I discovered, well, working with metal, of course you have a soapstone, you know, and you can sharpen a nice little point on the end of that, and that first, well, that first half an inch or so of line, that'll be nice, sharp, clean, good looking line. And then the minute that point wears down, and all of a sudden your line starts getting wider and wider and wider. Now let me show you. So I got a nice point on the end of the soapstone and just gonna make a little seven inch long line. And if you come in here and look, you see, well, that's a big fat line. You know, you, you, can, you can make a short, or make a, a smaller line with it if you keep rotating it around to try to keep the point down. And you can get a thinner line with it, but there's really a better way to do it. So before I show you what I think is a better way, let me just make another line with a Sharpie, just so you can see the difference, because I know a lot of guys use these. And even just trying to very gently touch that steel and even just trying to rotate that sharpie as you're going just to try to make sure it makes a nice straight line and you still wind up with a fat line really i mean it's smaller than the soapstone line but it's still a pretty big line so you still have to ask yourself do i cut on the left of the line the right well the right of the line the left of the line that's better <laughs> or right down the middle of the line you know where's my mark and then i discovered a scribe just a nice hard steel point, and you can grind them on the grinder, get them even sharper. So with the scribe, you see, boy, you've got just this razor thin line right there. And now you know your straight edge was up on the left side, you made your mark, you're gonna cut right dead on that line, or right to the right side, just right off the edge of that line and your cut's gonna come out exactly where you need it to be. You know, there, there's no ambiguity there. This side, that side, right down the middle. No, no, you've got that tiny, tiny, thin little line. That's where your cut's gotta be. So then you can go to your chop, your chop saw, you can go to your shear, you know, get your, your angle grinder out with a cutoff wheel on it, whatever you need. As long as you're right smack on that line, one side or the other, you know, you got to know where your where your straight edge was. So you know which side you need to cut on. But now you've got this nice razor sharp edge that you can follow, and you should get a nice clean, clear, crisp cut off of it that way. So where do you get a scribe? Well, that's a good question. You can get it off of like a tool truck. You can find them in like the big orange box store in the tool corral or you just reach down to pick up a steep piece of steel and make one. Pick up a rod, grind a point on it, uh, pick up a bolt, grind a point on it, you know, whatever you happen to have handy. Don't have to go out and buy one, make one. You're a, me you're a metal worker, remember? <laughs> There's your homework for today. Go make your own scribe. Make it exactly the way you want it. The length you want it, the diameter you want it. Don't make one or get one with that little hook on the end of it. This one just happened to come that way. This is actually an automotive tool. It's a pick 
and it's a hook on the end of it so you could like reach down into something and you know like pull out an o-ring or something like that so you know this actually has a function on this tool as a scribe its function is digging into your hand when your fingers slip so you know, one of these days that needs to get cut off but it's really handy to have there as long as you remember to hold it that way but that's your lesson for today that's your homework for today go make yourself a scribe learn how to make your lines it'll clean things up it'll make your joints a lot tighter a lot neater so speaking of joints i'm going to go ahead and finish true in this thing up chop it off on the on the plate chair over there and get my butt back to work where it belongs you guys just do me one quick favor hit that subscribe button down there and i'll see you guys next week thank you So speaking of joints, I'm going to go smoke one and get my ass back to work. <laughs>